For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, a freight train travels at V is equal to 60 times 1 minus E to the negative D feet per second where T is in seconds. <clears throat> Determine the distance traveled in 3 seconds and the acceleration at this time. So the distance traveled can be found by the <coughs> equation for the position which is given by the integral of the velocity with respect to time and we're trying to find the distance traveled from 0 to 3 so you can just do this integral from 0 to 3 and you get the total distance traveled so this is the integral from 0 to 3 of 60 1 minus e to the negative t dt which is equal to 60 from 0 to 3 of 1 minus e to the negative t dt which is equal to 60 times t plus e to the negative t from 0 to 3 which is equal to 60 times 3.05 minus 1 which comes out to be 122.99 feet this is the total distance traveled of this freight train from 0 to 3. Now the acceleration is equal to the derivative of the velocity with respect to time. So when you derivate this equation, it's easier to derivate if you distribute the 60. 60 times minus 60 e to the negative t. So when you derivate this, you get that this is equal to 60 e to the negative t. And when you plug this uh, the, the 3 into the t, you get that this is equal to 2.99 feet per second square. Final answer final answer one last note I wanted to make is that the only reason why this works for the total distance traveled is because there are no zeros between the 0 and the 3 in the equation for the velocity because you know that when it is equal to 0 this whole thing becomes 1 and this whole thing becomes 0 but in the interval that they're asking us is from 0 to 3 seconds so there is no 0 in between the 0 and the 3 there's only a 0 right there so that's why you can use this equation you can just go and use this equation in every situation so that's an important note please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help thank you